any sound I'm aware of other than some new uh, voice chat for the Ukrainians and Russians. Okay, something else we're going to go over. Anti-tank weapons for the infantry. We'll just set some targets here. Okay, so these squads are equipped with RPG-7s, which we see this guy aiming right here. At some poor schlub on the firing range. And they've also got some disposable RPGs. So, pretty much every infantry unit in Black Sea has disposable or reusable uh, man-portable anti-tank weapons. So you still want to respect infantry when you're in armored vehicles in this game because they can still pack a punch at close ranges. Within a couple hundred meters, pretty much any infantry squad is a threat against any vehicle that's not a main battle tank. And even against the main battle tank, if they can get a side or a rear shot, they might be able to... Oh shoot, it's not playing. <laughs> I thought it was playing. They still might be able to kill it. So, an armored vehicle is not safe in this game, necessarily against infantry. It's something to keep in mind. You want to be very careful about getting too close to enemy infantry um, in a vehicle in this game. Speaking of enemy inf uh, uh, infantry anti-tank weapons, for our next little demonstration, we're going to skip through this turn, we're actually going to go to the guys at OP1, and we're going to go for the most famous weapon of them all, the Javelin. You guys who have played Shock Force are very familiar with this thing, but this thing is about as close to a magic silver bullet as there is. Okay, so to get the Javelin, we're going to demonstrate the Acquire command. So we've got a rifle squad here, riding in a Striker which is an American Armored Personnel Carrier. So, the Javelin is actually in the vehicle. The infantry squad does not possess it right now. So we need to grab the Javelin. So here's how you do it. Select the infantry squad, click on the icon. We go to the Special Command tab. If, there's, uh, if they're in a vehicle or near a vehicle, the Acquire button highlights right down here. then a list of things that they can acquire from the vehicle pops up. It will differ based on the vehicle. Uh, vehicles typically have a standard stock of small arms ammunition, like rifle and machine gun bullets in them. Um, they may also have rifle grenades. Uh, vehicles that are transporting heavy weapons, like, uh, like anti-tank guided missile launchers, or uh, automatic grenade launchers, things like that, they'll usually also carry extra ammo for that weapon in the vehicle. So, we want to find the Javelin. We get the at Javelin ATGM launcher on the list. Just click on it, and they grab it. You notice now one of the guys here, his uh, silhouette changed. He's now carrying the Javelin. You can also see it down here in the special equipment list. You see the Javelin launcher and a Javelin missile have now popped up there. And we want to go ahead and acquire two extra Javelin anti-tank guided missiles along with them. So now we've got three Javelin missiles. Now you notice something. Uh, when I go back to the Movement Command tab, these guys can no longer move fast. Javelin missiles are really freaking heavy, and they're carrying three of them in addition to the launcher. So they are now loaded down. They have got they are carrying a lot of weight. So now they can no longer move fast, they can only move quick. You have to, uh, you have to lose some of this weight by shooting it off, basically, if you, or sharing it with other units if you want to, uh, uh, if you want these guys to move faster. So you need to be careful about loading them down too much. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move these guys up to a building, and we're going to shoot some stuff with it. So we're going to give them a waypoint to go up to the building. By the way, I don't think I ever went over this. To give them a moving command into a building, all you do is you do the same thing as you would on the ground. You left-click on the building, anywhere on the building, and then it will prompt you which floor you want them to go up to. In this case, we want them to go up to the roof. And then we're going to hit go, and we're going to watch these guys do their thing. We're going to actually fast forward through this a bit, so we don't have to watch them run around. By the way, someone was asking about the Coyote Tan. Here's an example of the Coyote Tan uh, uh, gear. So this is a player selectable option, which I'll show you at the end if you remind me. Just 
going to fast forward another turn, let these guys get up there. Alright, so we got a bunch more targets out on the range here. A variety of Russian equipment. Alright, so right now these guys are just engaging enemy infantry. They're sitting out on the range. We're going to go ahead, however, and give them something to shoot at. Let's uh, attack. We're going to attack this BMP out here. Actually, let's attack a tank. I want to attack a tank. Attack enemy this tank. tank Alright, let's go ahead and let this go. Alright, so Javelin Man has decided that a rifle's prob- You notice, by the way, once again, intelligent AI at work, I gave a target command towards this tank. However, everything at this range, everything they have except for the Javelin is worthless against that tank. So you'll notice that everyone except for the Javelin Gunner is pretty much just ignoring my target order and they're continuing to attack the infantry, because it'd be pointless shooting rifles at the tank. But the Javelin Gunner is indeed targeting the tank. So here he is aiming. Let's let him do his thing. Looks like someone tried to shoot a rocket at him and missed. Enemy infantry spotted. Yes, sir. And that is the Javelin. If you haven't seen it before, it is amazing. Uh, javelin shoots a two-stage... It has a two-stage motor. It pops it out. We'll go back and see that again. It actually pops out of the tube for a second there and then it engages the main motor. So that is useful because it means you can actually shoot it from inside buildings. Because um, it, it doesn't engage the main motor and cause all those fumes to come kicking out until it's already outside of the building. And then the, unlike most weapons, the Javelin actually goes upwards and then dives down. So it always hits the vehicle where it's most vulnerable. Someone asks, is this release candidate? No, but it's very close to it. Uh, someone asks, is there any plan to un let units drop weapons or ammo, not just acquire it? I haven't heard of any plans for that yet. So anyways, that's the Javelin. It is very brutal. If you are the American player... <coughs> excuse me. If you are the American player, you want to be very careful about where you place your javelins. You want to put them up high where they can get a view on enemy vehicles. You want to save them for high value targets like tanks, because they will kill anything. Excuse me one moment. Oh, sorry, all the talking is making my throat seize up. Okay, so the javelin will kill everything on the battlefield. Actor protection systems uh, that the Russians have can't stop it because its, di it's diving profile is too steep for them. So the javelin's kind of like a silver bullet. So you want to use it um, very effectively against enemy vehicles, try not waste it against other stuff. Especially against tanks. Uh, someone asked, can you, s so the javelin, okay, someone asked, can you switch the javelin from top shot to straight shot? And the answer is no, the AI will make that decision itself. The javelin is capable of a straight attack profile where it just goes straight at the target, however that's not often used. Uh, the, the javelin operator will, the, the AI will decide on his own whether he does it or not. Vast majority of the time it'll do top attack. If you are the Russians, and you suspect the Javelin position, you want to shell the crap out of it immediately. Any Javelins that you think you've spotted or that you have spotted need to be destroyed right away, because they are one of the most dangerous weapons on the battlefield, hands down. Let's see it shoot again, because I, I never get sick of watching this Javelin shoot. Never get sick of that. Okay, let's move on. That was fun. 